This is what hardcore Minecraft looked like 12 years ago. But now? I'm going to build a giant nether factory in hardcore Minecraft. It's a lot. So how did we get here? Hardcore mode was added in 2011. The community formed slowly at first, with most players trying out a hardcore world once and never touching it again. A couple YouTubers experimented with videos on it, but it never really got that far. But there was one man who saw it as something different, a challenge. He wanted to see just how long he could last in hardcore survival Minecraft. And this man's name was Filza. His first attempt in 2012 was, all things considered, really good. It lasted two years all the way up until... I lost my hardcore world. You may be wondering how I died, but I'm actually alive and rather healthy. The real reason I lost my hardcore world is because my hard drive broke. I know, I know. Wait, did it catch fire? Not to be discouraged, he created a new hardcore world and this time it would make history. It lasted five entire years, setting the world record for the longest hardcore playthrough at the time. During that period, he built some of the craziest things ever constructed in survival Minecraft. Until one day... I knew it. Filza's death went absolutely viral. It made it into a PewDiePie video and it even got on the f***ing news. But this whole situation could have been avoided if Filza just updated his world. When he began his second series in 2014, there were no totems of undying, but by the time it ended, they'd been in the game for years. Hardcore mode went from one life to basically infinite, meaning the goal changed from surviving the night to how can I figure out stuff to do so I don't get bored. There's also another major update to hardcore, this time being the Outer End Islands. After they were added, the Ender Dragon fight went from something symbolic to a crucial step towards getting an Elytra. This meant if, say, some other Minecraft YouTuber wanted to start a hardcore series, it could hypothetically last a lot longer. And with Filza's death getting a lot of views, let's just say a lot of people were looking to do that. <laughs> Hardcore Minecraft videos as a trend absolutely exploded. Tons of huge YouTubers coincidentally started their own hardcore series, but what's more interesting to me is one man who created something genuinely unique, a style of content that would shake the YouTube landscape for years to come. This man was Luke the Notable. Luke began his channel with Fortnite videos in 2018. He was 23 back then, so now he's like old. He's got a wife and shit. A lot of his videos were summarizing what happened after 100 games of Fortnite, which may potentially sound a little bit familiar, but eventually, Fortnite was falling out of favor with the youth, and he wanted to make something new. What's going on, Minecraft fans? My name's Luke the Notable, and in this video, I'll be surviving 100 days in Minecraft Hardcore mode. That's right, he did a complete pivot to Minecraft videos. I don't know either, but it worked! This video got 50 million views. I am foaming at the mouth right now. And I'm not the only one, because other YouTubers were quick to jump on the trend. Copying? Sorry, I can't hear over my large subscriber count. Now, Luke the Notable wasn't, strictly speaking, happy about this, but there are people who brought interesting twists to the genre, like Forge Labs with modded 100 days, or Rye Guy Rocky with scripted 100 days for small children. I've gotta watch out for these three IRS agents! To be fair to the guy, it's working. But fake videos like these are more common than you think. Case in point, Rasplin. It's nether time. Now, while I'm here... Oh, I spawned on another floor... Why did he spawn so far from the portal? This guy's videos are irrationally funny to me. Okay, so at the start he says this. I'm doing this in hardcore mode, meaning if I die, I lose all my progress and the challenge. But then later on, this mysteriously happens. <laughs> Yo, this okay, please bro, please bro, please. Now let me play that back a little bit slower. You can call it lag if you want, but he literally hearted a comment saying it's fake. He either used this texture pack to pretend to be in hardcore mode when he's actually not, or he backed up his world and just reverted it to before he died. What a sneaky little guy. The increasing amount of fake content led to more and more people wanting something genuine. And that was recognized by a YouTuber who goes by the name of Sandiction. Ugh, I hate being homeless. Wait, I wonder what it's like to have a house. Sandiction's goal was to appeal to a little bit older of an audience who wanted something a lot more genuine. He uploaded his first hardcore video on June 6, 2021. It was short, bit boring of a concept, but despite all of that, it currently sits at 3.8 million views. In the first month, it only got 41,000, so where did all these other views come from? Well... Holy sh**. Later on in his series, he realized to get really big views, he had to focus every video on one huge project that no one has ever done before. This new style pulled in an average of 15 million views, and some of those viewers naturally went back to watch the series from the start. So there's your answer. That's why the first episode has 3.8 million views. The strategy was working great for him until one day...
Oh my god. He had died. His immensely popular series was over. There's a note my researcher left saying, I remember when this happened, I called my mom. Just thought that was a little bit funny. But that left Sandiction in a sticky situation. Sandiction, why don't you just cheat? Because that goes against the entire reason I created this series in the first place. Now shut the f up. So as a result, whatever he may be planning, he hasn't uploaded any videos since. After his massive series ended, there was room for other YouTubers to pick up where he left off, to create videos with a single-minded focus on one specific project. And a prime example of that is Carbs. He used to make dubiously watchable scripted SMP videos, but now he's one of the largest hardcore YouTubers on the platform. He averages about 8 million views, and I was actually almost his editor, which is kinda cool. One interesting distinction with his content is that he avoids saying it's hardcore mode in the title. Come watch my hardcore Minecraft video. Um, you? Would you watch it if it just said Minecraft instead of hardcore? Yes. Okay, my point is that he appeals to a wider audience, all right? Got it? I can go on about hardcore YouTubers all day, but the real question is, what's next? Why well, interviewed one of the largest hardcore YouTubers on the platform to find out? But first, let's take a break from the silly Minecraft video to talk about your future. Where do you wanna be? Because if you're around my age, you should probably be thinking about college. That brings us to the sponsor of today's video, Southern New Hampshire University, featuring over 200 degree programs to get you started on the path to your dream job. You can attend in person or entirely online, and it's one of the most affordable tools tuitions in the country. One degree you're statistically probably interested in is game development. You can explore programming with C-Sharp and Unity guided by a professor to work towards a career you'll actually enjoy. So click my custom link in the description to learn more about SNHU and help me make a little bit of money in the process. Now, back to where Hardcore Mode is headed. Bro, I don't f***ing know, I have like 30,000 subscribers, you expecting to predict this shit? To help figure out where Hardcore Minecraft is headed in the future, I interviewed a YouTuber called SB737. There's not really any, any other YouTuber I know that kind of just pumped out weekly 100 days videos for two and a half years. So, I asked him if he thinks Hardcore Minecraft is on the decline. I think 100 days is declining. I think Minecraft over the past 12 months has declined. There's obviously many reasons for this, but the biggest one is probably this. Kind of like the whole thing of you just gotta kind of one up the next thing, eventually you are gonna run out of ways to do it, if you know what I mean? I do think it's, it's got a shelf life. That means it's also getting much harder for newer people to jump in and compete. It's just so saturated. Personally though, I'm optimistic. I think Minecraft Hardcore probably is declining, but it'll always come back with a new cycle of YouTubers blowing up and getting millions of views. All right, please subscribe. I spent a lot of time on this. Oh yeah, and in my history of SMPs, video, I got so many f***ing comments about not mentioning Hermitcraft people enough. So, some members of that server have also made hardcore videos, including Gemini, Tay, Good Times with Scar, and Gryan. Jesus Christ. For the record, that was a joke. Hermitcraft seems cool, okay?